men's conference championships are shaping up. Big upset on the women's side, and the MLL season has started finally. This is Lax Limited Weekly. New hat alert. Before we dive into it, Rangers move on. I'm leading in the brackets, by the way, for the company brackets. No big deal. NBA playoffs, Bulls without Rondo. Look what happens. The Celtics are back, the number one seed. The Scoop, the Scoop making some big noise. Scott Rogers redeems himself. He's a very nice guy after all. And he does like Starbucks, pumpkin spice only though. Go check it out, give it a listen. SoundCloud, right Pete? And iTunes comes out very, very soon. So keep an eye out, go give it a listen. Let's dive into what happened this weekend. Friday, Patriot League shaped up. Loyola took the home field advantage after beating Army. Jay Dupree with 14 and, nope, 14, that's a lot of points. With four goals, two assists, they clinched the Patriot League tournament home field advantage. That's gonna be one to look at because Army now on the bubble, as Quint says, on the bubble. Then we have Ohio versus the Terps, probably the call of the year, pick of the year by myself. I'm not gonna brag, mortal lock from the podcast. We had 11-10, Ohio State overtime win. Colin Heacox out with an injury that happened in Albany. I don't know what's going on with him, but we had uh, Pearson with a rebound goal off of the Fennell post. Beautiful, beautiful thing. The guys thought I was crazy for picking Ohio State, but hey. You had Cuse getting a scare from Binghamton, 9-8. They held Sergio Salcedo off the score sheet, which is pretty interesting. And then Jordan Evans, probably the worst number 22 ever in Q's history, but we'll, uh, we'll give him it. He's got three goals. I don't think they should give a freshman 22. It's, you know, it's just, it's too much. Give it to a senior each year, do the right thing, until there is another Casey Powell, but that's my thoughts. We had UNC, Notre Dame, barn burner, 14-13. You saw the new Under Armour uniforms with Notre Dame, which was really, really cool. We had that corner by Bobby Gray, the second goal of the game, what a stinger. Last time I saw a net ripper was actually uh, Tom Schreiber against Yale. Brian Cosabio with the laser for the win, last second goal, or in the fourth quarter, I don't know if it was last second, but 14-13 win from Notre Dame. Then last night, I love these games, Sunday night, nothing better, 7 p.m. We had Penn State Rutgers battling for the final spot of the Big Ten tournament. And my boys at Penn State getting it done. You know, just giving us a little scare, but hey, they're still here. We had O'Keefe with three goals. That kid is nothing but a lefty, but he makes it nice. Then you have Osseri finally coming out of a slump. 16 and 20 on the faceoff X. That was probably the headliner of the game. That's the reason why they won. He had a lot of injuries, but hey, what are you gonna do? Albany and Yale, big game, weird game. Uh, American East first Ivy League. We had Albany coming back from four goals in the fourth quarter. Mitch laughing, leafing, laughing with a game winning goal. Uh, cool to see Albany, 13 12, number five. It is a big resume win. That is a big resume win. Which resume wins equals what, Pete? Rankings. Rankings. We got top five. Hofstra coming off, big win. So I got Albany staying at five, Notre Dame four, three Duke, two Hofstra, and one Syracuse. Hofstra number two, I'm not even kidding you, they're the real deal. It was a hiccup. They, you have to lose one during the season in order. They got home field advantage, just wait, wait and see. It's gonna be Hofstra Penn State in the final four. You heard it here first. We got the women's, women's side, Northwestern. It was a early Saturday morning game on the Big Ten Network. 14-7 win over Rutgers. Esposito with five goals. Then we have Louisville, last week's game of the week, right? They uh, pulled off a huge one. One goal game, 9-8, uh, the final score was. Crazy game with that one, Louisville, putting themselves on the map. And Syracuse just beat UNC, right, Pete? Oh, big, big win for them. We had a battle in Virginia, Virginia Tech, Virginia, and Virginia came out on top, which is pretty cool. Boring game, 6-5, oh well. So moving over to the picks of the week, uh, the games of the week, I should say. I got, uh, on the women's side, we have the battle for Long Island, Stony Brook and Hofstra. I'm going with the Ole Mill sisters. Stony Brook has that one, that's Friday. And then I have Hopkins, Maryland, 
what do they call that? We'll call it uh, Battle of Crab Cakes, Hopkins, Maryland. I'm not going Hopkins, I'm going Maryland. They're gonna take home the Crab Cake Trophy. It's a new trophy this year. MLL, welcome back. MLL is back, and what better way to start off the weekend with all four games being a one goal game. Yesterday we had the Cannons and the launch. Chaz Woodson's back, which is pretty cool to see. We had an 18-17 win. Uh, Bell Street, Bill, Bill Street, Bell Street? I think it's Bell Street. Bell Street with the game winner. We'll have to ask Dope Man, Willie. I'm sure he's gonna call me after this. Then we had Lawson. This guy is a clutch gene. He had a overtime winner. This is his third one in two years. 15-14 over the Bayhawks. Drew Adams coming up with a huge save at the ending. And of course, Matt Gibson, four goals. All that wall ball with String King is going over well. Uh, we had the Machine over the Blaze. Big time headliner over there. I played in that game. Uh, I had three goals. No, I'm just kidding. It was Mike Rooney, East Islip, rookie. Had three goals in his debut, his first ever MLL hat trick. 10-9, Machine go back to where they lost the championship, which is tough. But they came back without Schreiber, of course, because he's in the NLL. Big ups to Mike Rooney and their win. And then we had the Outlaws, defending champions, beating the Hounds, 13-12. Mike Bocklet, four goals, one assist. Denver stays on top, I should say. John Grant Jr., offense coordinator whiz, shout out. But one goal games, all of them, that was awesome to see. We're gonna jump over to the NLL. This week is the last weekend. All the spots are pretty much locked up except for the last spot, last two spots in the East. Rochester with the big time win, doing what needed to be done. They beat the Black Wolves 15-13 to stay alive. Uh, the Rock, I don't know what's going on with them, but the Rock fell to the Rush 15-10. Uh, the Rush locked up the division with that title win, so they're in for sure. Bouncing over to the Georgia Swarm, swarming the Buffalo Bandits. Did you see what I did there? 20-7. to They lock up the division title as well. And final game of the week, you had Vancouver defeating Colorado 13-7. Both of those teams, though, have secured a playoff spot, so it doesn't really matter. This weekend, though, keep an eye out. You have, if Rochester wins the last two games, and let's just say the Wolves and the Rock lose, they're gonna bounce one of them. So that'll be scary. Roch Vegas making some noise. So there you have it, NLL wrap up. We got the product of the week. We got the new Comic-Con shorts. Put that up here, Pete. Go check that out. Go online, in stores, pick one up. You know you're gonna. And uh, that's a wrap. So part of my take, purchase the new Danny Woodhead van. What is it? It's Vanny Woodhead. That's the name of their van. They're actually throwing up the Scoop podcast on the side. They're going to the draft this week, so check out our, uh, our little piece on the side of the van. A little baseball love, but uh, this is what happens when you play baseball. Don't be an ass. Catcher drills them right in the hiney. This is what happens when you play baseball. Make sure you stick to lacrosse. Watch me whip. Watch me nene. I'll see you next week. I'm done.